What up, what up, what up, though? No, it's your main man, Rick the Dawn. You already know what time it is. Got some more champagne. I told y'all what time it was. I bought two bottles of GH Mom, the OG bottle. And right here, I got this beautiful, beautiful uh, rose colored bottle. This is rose. You get a nice, good look at that. This is what we're drinking today. And this is what we're going to review. Yeah, I'm excited. As you know, this bottle is $50. All right, but here we go. GH Mom Rosé. And as you remember, that, that, that top yesterday caught me by surprise. But you know what? I never get caught twice. There it is. You see that? Much better, much cleaner. All right? I'm already getting better. I'm already getting better. And you know what time it is. It's time to have a little sip. Go in here. Oh, you see the smoke? Oh, my God. That's just beautiful. That's that's why you drink champagne, ladies and gentlemen, right there. You don't get that from nothing else. You don't get that. That's like a commercial. That's commercial. That's that's beautiful. You hear it? That's more like it. Ooh. Very bubbly. Uh, very acidic. Here we go. This is a lot. I, I don't. I don't like rose. I'm just gonna be honest with you. It's too like gimmicky for me. But in this case, because the OG bottle is so like brute and rough and dry, I kind of welcome that little sweetness uh, that I usually try to avoid with my champagnes. I like dry champagne for the record. But in this case, it's actually pretty good. It's, it's a welcome taste. And as you know. It's always smart to look at the percentage on the bottle. And as you probably can or cannot see, this is a 12% alcohol value. I'm not sure if you can see that. I do apologize in advance if you can't. But you always check the percentage of alcohol in the drink. Remember I told you last time, you always want to go for 10 or higher. And for me, 10 is low. Um, but I will say this. If you don't drink champagne, if you don't drink wine, and you get a 10, you're gonna go to sleep. You're, you're gonna get you're gonna you're gonna go to bed. Okay. And I must put out this disclaimer, drink responsibly, don't drink and drive. You know, I don't have any places to go today. That's why I'm, I'm cooling right now. That's good. This is tasty. Uh on a taste scale, and I typically typically don't factor in taste into my reviews. But in this case, I want to just say that on a taste scale, let me try it again. That's very clean. It tastes incredibly clean. I'm going to say maybe an 8 out of 10 on taste. Not on effectiveness. I always rate effectiveness. Your brand, your wine, your champagne can taste amazing. But people drink to relax and calm down and unwind that's why i drink i don't drink for the taste necessarily if i wanted something that tastes good i will go drink, drink some juice i want something that makes me feel at ease and i would say from a taste perspective i'm getting eight out of ten vibes uh this is 12 percent, and when it comes to champagne that's about the highest you're gonna get uh i've really rarely seen champagne over 12 percent really and if there is a champagne brand out there that offers a champagne over 12 percent I would absolutely love to review it. Just saying. Um, when it comes to wine, things change a little bit. The normal high alcohol value for wine is about 13.5. Uh, there are higher than 13.5. I've seen them all the time, but they are rare. All right. Most of the times, wine is going to be about 10 to 11 in that in that range, and then 13.5 as a high. I've seen as high as probably 15.8. I think that's the highest I've seen when it comes to wine. I'm already starting to feel it. All right. It's time. It's time. I feel it. I feel comfortable in doing a pre-review. Let's see. Tastes really good. Uh, if I'm drinking this in a social setting, I can feel my, my blood starting to warm up a little bit. I can feel like my vibe starting to like just my tension and my anxiety starting to come down a little bit. I'm going to be honest with you. For me, 
Right now, I'm going to do a 6.5 out of 10. For my preview, uh, 6.5 out of 10. It's not hitting me fast. There are some champagnes that hit me a lot quicker. So again, there's a slight delay in the impact, but that could also be a result of it being so smooth. All right. It's a smooth drink. It doesn't like, it's not like you're drinking ENJ or you're drinking Seagram's Gin or something or something like real affordable. It's smooth. It's not meant to just knock you out as soon as you take a sip. It's like you have to, it's like an incline. With that being said, I'm going to finish this bottle and then I'll give you a post review to let you know what happened. What's going on? It's your main man, Rick Adon. Look, jumping right, right into it, if I have to rate this bottle from a post standpoint, I'm going to give it a 7.5, all right? A 7.5. That's what I got for it. And if I might be honest, it's a strong 7.5. The uh, post experience, I do feel really well. I do feel good. Um, I expect a little bit more. But, you know, like I said, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a seasoned drinker of champagne and wine, and I've tasted a little bit of everything out there, <laughs> a little bit of everything, seriously. It feels that way. So I will say that uh, while very strong, a lot left to be desired, especially from a $50 bottle. Had this been a $20 bottle, a $10, $15 bottle, I'm raising this, this rating much higher because the expectation is not as high. But being that I paid $50 for it, I expected a lot more. And this goes to show you that sometimes the price tag is not indicative of the quality of the project or the product. And a lot of times you're buying hype, you're buying art, the bottle, you know, in, 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 uh, for instance, you're buying the art of the bottle. But as far as the quality of the wine, you know, there was a guy, the guy who uh, is the CEO of Five Guys. I love Five Guys so much. He said a magical quote. He doesn't spend money on advertising or he doesn't spend money on the quality of the building. He puts most of his money into the food itself. And I think a lot of brands need to invest in that logic. You know, put the money into the product. Don't necessarily create the illusion or the fluff that goes around the product. Don't spend more money on that. Put the money into the product because in this case, the bottle looks great. The appearance, the, the aroma, the, the feel, the look, the name, everything is right. But when I taste the product, in my opinion, it falls just short of what my expectations were. So with that being said, folks, thank you all for watching. It's been good. Peace.